Kogi PDP governorship candidate Dino Melaye refused to vote and he addressed the newsmen. Why did he refuse to vote? Was he deprived from voting or how? Did he see anything? Uh, you know, Dino Melaye will always shout out. But let's get into the details to know why he refused to vote and what his next line of actions will be. The governorship candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, in the Kogi state election, Dino Melaye, refused to cast his vote. Hmm. Nigerian news gathered that Melaye failed to show up at his polling unit to vote and has alleged that the election was fraught with irregularities. Hmm. There will always be irregularities in Nigerian election, frankly speaking. The former lawmaker representing Kogi West in Etira district was expected to vote at uh, Iluafon quarters, i.e. Tero 1, Ijumu local government area of Kogi state. Journalists have covered, <coughs> converged at the house of the PDP governorship candidate in Kogi as he is set to address the press on the electoral process. Hmm. Meanwhile, Melaye uh, has demanded the cancellation of election results in five local government areas of the state. Melaye said the election in the five local government areas is nothing but a scam coordinated by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Can you imagine? So he listed the affected local government areas as Okene, Okehi, Ajokuta, Adavi, and Oguri, Mangogo. So these local government areas, the elections there were, you know, scammed and the scam was coordinated by the INEC officials. That's exactly what he's trying to say here. INEC must cancel the election in the five local government areas of Kogi Central. The election in Okene, Okehi, Ajokuta, Adavi and Oguri, Mangogo is a scam coordinated from the highest level of INEC Melaye wrote in the post via his uh, at X handle or X account on Saturday um, while the election was going on. Wow. So why did he refuse to sign? I said because the election is marred with irregularities. But let's get it right. There will always be irregularities in Nigerian election, whether we like it or not. Okay. Election in Nigeria can never be right. The reason is because um, every system, they want to beat every system to win. The politicians are so desperate and they use, especially the ones in power, they will use the instrumentality of government to frustrate the elections uh, to their own favor. Okay, They will use the security forces of the state. They will use every resources at the disposal of the government that is meant for for coordinating a regular uh, election or regular activities to their own advantage. Just like the Kogi state governor and the Imo state governor started by booking all the hotels in their states completely block booking to ensure that other political parties do not have space to stay. And that is actually very, very bad. That's an irregularity of his own kind, okay, even before the election started. So Dino Melaye refused to vote because of irregularities in the elections. Anybody that will say uh, because of irregularity he will not vote will just be making mistakes because there will always be irregularities. Okay, just cast your vote and walk away. Okay, and note the irregularities. If I were Dino Melaye, I will still go cast my vote, go around the local government, make my observations, and also, uh, you know, if I have to raise alarm, I raise alarm. But that will not stop me from voting because that one vote will have effect that is the truth what if that one vote is what is needed to win that means that he will lose he will make himself to lose and that is how bad it is so dino should have been more tactical and more you know display more wisdom in making that decision he would have just said okay now that the election is smart with irregularities i will still cast my vote i will record the irregularities and i will challenge it simple and you move on that is what i think he should have done and not avoiding to vote. Now that he did not vote, what about people that were lining up behind him to vote for him? What would they do? What if everybody walks away because he himself that they're supporting did not vote? Is that not an automatic failure? It is automatic failure. 
And are you telling me that for everybody that voted for Dino, that some of them will not be disappointed? That even Dino they are voting for did not vote for himself. That means he does not trust himself. And trust me, the 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 opposition party will use that against Dino. That he did not vote because he did not trust himself. That means Dino deceived all his followers. That is how it will be interpreted. Eh? Now you gathered everybody, you made the campaign, you spent money, and to time to vote come, you did not vote for yourself. So what are you not telling other people? Eh? That anybody voting for you is a mistake. That is what it means. Because you cannot tell people to vote for yourself, to vote for you, when you yourself is failing to or fail to vote for yourself simply because you are angry. So it is, it is, it, they will use it that he does not trust himself. He knows he has nothing to offer. That's why he did not vote for himself. Eh? So he tactically, he tactically deceived people to vote for him just to keep his, to make busy body. So, and anybody can interpret anyway, and Dino will not have option. Anybody can see his action in any way. Even though he has listed the five local government areas in the Kogi Central, uh, Central District that you know, uh, you know, irregularities were coordinated by the annex staff themselves. I tell you, this one that he did not vote for himself, it will definitely not go down well with all his supporters. Some supporters will definitely be called, be angry with him, and they will call him out for it. But again, INEC has always remained partisan. Even in the last general election of February 25 that brought in Ubu as winner, we saw how INEC, you know, compromised. So why is it INEC will always compromise? That is the problem. Some people become ad hoc staff simply to perpetuate the plans of their paymasters. Even the ones that are enrolling as ad hoc, ad hoc staff, I'm sure they are, they, are, they are enrolled for a purpose. They are not just there to just go do a clean job and walk away. They, you, you, before they enroll you, probably you will need to take an oath or a kind of agreement that you will do their bidding. Then they will enroll you. So in actual, even the use of ad hoc staff, the purpose is defeated. The purpose actually is originally is to complement the effort of the original or real annex staff to conduct a free and fair election and then to prevent the bottleneck of uh, inadequate manpower. But unfortunately, that is not what is happening. They are recruiting people that they can use as ad hoc staff to support the real staff. And then they will buy them over and they will do good and cause problems. Especially the ICT staff among them, those are the people that are also, uh, uh, you know, uh, causing problems because of their uh, compromise. People have, have actually seen that as long as Mahmoud Yakubu remains the INEC chairman, nothing good will come out of INEC, whether we like it or not. The ruling party will continue to use Mahmoud and his people to rig election in Nigeria. So the best thing would have been remove Mahmoud now and let's have somebody there. But again, even if you remove Mahmoud, who will go there? Because as long as the presidency is still the person nominating and appointing uh, the, the, the head of those parastatals like INEC, they will always be compromised. They will give those offices to their own people, prepare themselves for rigging, and then they can discuss at home on how to fix things for themselves. So when are we going to break out of a situation where the heads of key parastatals are appointed by the president that has to stop head of head of uh what they call it, head of senate head of uh, uh, um, uh, house of representatives head of uh, efcc head of cbn cbn governor head of uh, INEC, and all of that and several icpc and all other parastatals okay even uh, the attorney federation even the chief justice of the federation all of those the president should stop uh, nominating or um, appointing such uh, heads. Let there be a separate independent system that determines who should head them. And then they follow it through, based on merit. Because as long as the president is, in, is, is the person, you know, appointing the heads of those parasitas, nothing good will come out, just like INEC. So I would not be surprised if the so-called election at IMO uh, Baesa and Kogi states are marred by irregularities and part of irregularities were perpetrated or per perpetrated by the um, by the INEC staff. I will not be surprised. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.